today I'm just gonna share two super simple tips to make anyone take better pictures today from any camera, no matter what you're doing, just two simple tips. And if you stay to the end, I'll give you a third one. So hi, my name is Heather McKay. I've been a professional photographer for 18 years, but I've been a photographer uh, since I was a kid. Picked it up in metal shop actually in eighth grade. I thought I'd just do a quick video that will help everyone. So if you're a beginner photographer or you're just a regular person who wants to take better cell phone photos or whatever the case may be, but I can tell you that these two things are the two reasons why I don't use second photographers. That'll be a whole other video about weddings and that kind of stuff later. All right, so if you haven't been here before, feel free to dig around. I'm doing a series right now on beginner photography tips, which I normally don't share on this channel. Normally on this channel, I share uh, tips on how to sell photography, how to become a wedding photographer. So without further ado, my first tip is something, and I kind of set this up where I did for this reason. Uh, the first tip is be responsible for everything in the frame. So as you can see, I'm split in half right here. So you don't want to do that. You don't want a tree or uh, a light post, a power line pole. You don't want any of that, something like that growing out of somebody's head in the background. You always want to see what's in the background. Uh, can I eliminate? So that's the first tip. As you can see, I kind of have something light here and something dark here. So that's not ideal. But whatever, I could just twist myself just a little. Um, I, I cut out things that were over here. I didn't want that window in there because anything that's really, really bright is where your eye is gonna go. So I didn't want that. So there's different things you can do in that way. I could sit off to the side just a little bit, which would help a lot and things like that. Okay, so now see, I wanna get rid of that window on the side. So you wanna be responsible for everything in the frame. This is very, very important. A lot of people just don't think about what's in the background or they don't realize they could cut out that lamp over there or whatever. So the second tip actually kind of goes with the first tip. The second tip is get closer. 90% of the reason that your photos are boring is because you're way too far away from whatever the subject is. So what is the subject and does everything in the frame actually help enhance that subject? Does it give you a sense of who I am and what I do? So again, I'm using this set today as an example of like, that's not one of my photos. This would be so much better if I had one of my photos behind me if, or my logo or cameras or something along those lines that would tell you the viewer that, hey, this is a photographer. That's my friend's artwork right there and it's covering a window because I don't like that neighbor on that side. So what does that have to do with anything? Nothing. The only thing that has to do with anything is that it's a great place for me to put photos to give you examples when I make this video and edit it. But still, it's, if you look at most of the rest of my channel, though my YouTube videos aren't like amazing set design, there's usually a photo of, the, in, of mine in the background, part of my logos in the background, some cameras are in my background, um, some wedding albums are in the background, something that gives you a sense without even listening to me of who I am and what I do. So now you can see the sun is setting and now I'm dealing with this little bright spot, right? So again, be responsible for everything in the frame and how about I just move? I can move over here and now it's gone, what? But see, now you gotta worry about this square that's framing my face. That's fine, right? It's okay. Again, I can drop over examples of photos on the other side of the frame, or when I'm editing, I can crop it out. So again, instead of having to edit later and crop later, which a lot of us do, just get closer. I could get rid of all this background even if I got even closer to you. So just get closer, be responsible for everything in the frame, and that automatically will make you a better photographer. I said if you wait to the end, I'd give you a third little tip. This one is something you've probably already thought of. It comes in fairly naturally to people, but I just wanna point it out. I just wanna let you know, like you can actually change your angle. So most of the time people take things eye level. That's not usually the best use <laughs> of anything. Get higher, get lower, go around things. What Again, what's your subject? Just kind of like do a 360, go up and around and down and around and find a better angle. There's always a better angle if you just look for it. So walk your butt around <laughs> and go find it. So those are my three tips. Be responsible for everything in the frame. Get closer, like so much closer than you already are. And the third tip is to change your angle. Either stand, get up above it, lower. Sometimes it's just a matter of like bending your knees just a hair. 
shocking how much those will improve all of your photos like immediately. So if you like this video, please feel free to subscribe, like, and share it with other people. Uh, I will make more videos just like this, especially if you leave a comment on what kind of things you want to see. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.